In this lesson, I'm going to show you the Squish tool as well as the Pop-up tool. Both are in behaviors, just like the previous lessons we've learned. So if we pull up our panels and our tag panel under the behaviors tab, I think I accidentally put a comma here, so let me delete that. There we go. All right, the squish tool. It does exactly what it sounds like it does. Squishes whatever the item you've selected down to nothing. So in this case, we're going to experiment and do that with the picture we have here on our classic page, Poetry of the Future. Make sure that picture is chosen. And, oops, um, I already had it in there, so I didn't want you to see it because we're going to add it right now. So make sure the picture is selected. And now we're going to hit the plus, add behavior. And now under effects, the bottom one, there it is, squish. Now here's, here's an interesting thing. You can choose what target element you want. Now in this case, the picture that we have selected doesn't have its own tag. So we have the container tag, the header tag, the sidebar tag, the main content, the footer, that we could all choose. We could choose any one of those to squish. But in this case, we're going to choose current selection because this picture doesn't have a tag of its own, but it is selected. So click OK. And now we have our options. Now when do you want it to squish? When you double click, when you click, when? We're going to choose on click, which is what we've commonly been using and is most often used on the internet. Now, let's hit Control S to save and then pop up our preview in web browser, allow blocked content, yep. And now, when we click on the picture, guess what's going to happen? Disappears. So let's say you had a series of pictures and you were going your job was to analyze them one at a time for whatever data. So let's say you had the first picture. You've analyzed it, you record the data, then you click it, psh, disappears. Now you go to the next picture, analyze it, click it, it disappears. That's just one example where you might use this. And the picture isn't going to come back until you refresh the page, like so. Then you can do the action again. So there's one other useful tool, Squish. I'm going to close out of the web browser. And now we are going to do the pop-up. And boy, we've all experienced it pop up some websites. They can be annoying. They can be useful. But now we get to be the one to create the pop-up. So let's select this word, maybe. And now we're going to go plus, add the behavior. Now it's not under effects like we've been going. It's under pop-up message from the main menu. So that's what we're going to hit. And it's very simple. What do you want the pop-up message to read? I'm going to just say something corny, like maybe you shouldn't have clicked this. Now I must report you. I know, it's corny. Hit OK. And actually, I already had this in here because I did it previously. Now we have our choice. So I just hit the minus sign to delete the other one because it's a double of the same exact behavior. And of course, like anything else, we can hover. Um, but I'm going to choose on click as the triggering mechanism. So, now, so you click on maybe, we see that behavior pops up. You click anywhere else, no behavior associated with that section. So, just like our picture over here, you click on it, we can see the behavior now associated with it. So let's test out our pop-up on the word maybe. Let's hit Control S to save. Let's hit our F12 to preview in a browser. Let's enable blocked content. And now we're going to click on maybe, and voila, maybe you shouldn't have clicked this. Now I must report you. Yeah, anyway. So those are two more interesting, useful, semi-useful effects that can be used in Dreamweaver as behaviors. 
So save your changes if you like, and we shall move on.